During the darkest nights of World War II, when blackouts cloaked entire towns and tension hung heavier than smoke, some homes had a secret defence hidden right underfoot. No electricity, no tripwires, no noise, just wood, nails and a bit of clever physics. While soldiers and spies waged war on distant fronts, ordinary civilians built something extraordinary silent intruder alarms beneath their floorboards. These were more than just makeshift traps. They were life-saving indicators that told homeowners if someone was inside, before the intruder even knew he'd been detected. This wasn't high-tech espionage. It was pure mechanical ingenuity, a forgotten art of defence that's as relevant for home security today as it was in 1943. Let's dive deep into how this wartime invention worked, why it mattered, and how you can recreate it with simple, modern tools. When the air raid sirens stopped and blackout curtains sealed off the night, fear didn't fade. It just moved indoors. In occupied Europe, civilians were forced to find ways to protect themselves from looters, spies and soldiers who often slipped in through back doors or cellar entrances. Electricity was unreliable, batteries were scarce and silence was survival. So people turned to what they already had, wooden floors and a keen sense of mechanics. The trick was simple. Some floorboards were deliberately loosened or mounted on spring-like supports that shifted ever so slightly under pressure. When someone stepped on the wrong plank, it wouldn't creak loudly. It would instead trigger a chain reaction that quietly signalled the homeowner. A common design involved a small gap under the floorboard connected to a lever or suspended wire beneath. When the pressure changed, say when a foot pressed down, that lever would either move a hidden object like a hanging key, bead or bell clapper or break contact with a tensioned cord. The point wasn't to make noise, but to give a subtle cue only the owner could recognise. A faint shift in vibration, a moved object, a silent signal that someone was there. In some homes, the sensor floorboard was placed near key points, like entrances, stairways, or hallways leading to sleeping areas. It acted as an invisible trip sensor, but without any of the sound or light that could alert an enemy or thief. The genius of this design lies in pressure distribution. Wooden floors naturally flex slightly when walked on. By isolating one plank from the rest, using small spacers or slightly shorter nails, that piece became a mechanical switch. A downward force caused micro-movements, which could be amplified using cords or springs attached beneath. In wartime, Britain some homeowners tied those cords to hanging kitchen utensils behind a cupboard door. The sound was muted, only noticeable in the quiet of night. But it was enough to wake someone trained to hear it. In parts of Eastern Europe, families built floating floors above cellar spaces with suspended nails that scraped lightly against a tin strip when depressed. Again, not loud enough to betray the system, but just enough to signal the people who knew what to listen for. It was subtle engineering, not meant to scare, but to sense. You can replicate this forgotten security method using today's materials without altering your home permanently. Start with a section of wooden flooring preferably near an entryway or hallway where you'd naturally detect movement. Loosen one plank slightly 
and mount it on rubber spacers or small door spring pieces from a hardware store. Beneath it, attach a fine nylon cord connected to a small hanging object, a key washer or piece of metal that lightly touches the surface when the board flexes. Now, when someone steps on that plank, the vibration or light contact below acts as a silent alert. You could even take it a step further using a piezoelectric vibration sensor, small and inexpensive, connected to a low-power LED hidden behind a furniture piece. When the board shifts, the LED flickers discreetly. It's the same principle. No sound, no light, unless you know where to look. This isn't about building a trap, it's about situational awareness, something survivalists value above all else. Modern security systems rely heavily on electricity, Wi-Fi and constant connectivity, all of which can fail during blackouts, EMPs or power cuts. The World War II floorboard trick teaches a different lesson that awareness and preparedness don't depend on tech, but on clever use of materials and an understanding of how your environment behaves. For a survivalist, this is gold. Whether you're setting up an off-grid cabin, a safe house, or just want to add a hidden layer of awareness to your home, the same mechanical principles apply. You can detect movement silently without batteries, without alerts pinging your phone. And then down, down, lads, a fan, bead in mind. Does anyone else know they've been detected as Charles B? History isn't just something to remember, it's something to reuse. These wartime innovations remind us that necessity breeds brilliance, and sometimes the most effective defences are the simplest ones, the kind that hide in plain sight. Many of these old home defence tricks have vanished from collective memory. They weren't written in manuals, they were passed from person to person, whispered through families who lived under occupation. But today we can keep that knowledge alive, not as relics, but as tools. The World War II floorboard trick is more than a curiosity. It's a working example of mechanical intelligence. It shows how observation, Adaptation and creativity could mean the difference between safety and danger. Try building a small model of this system for yourself. Use scrap wood, light springs and fishing line to recreate how pressure can trigger motion without sound. Once you understand that physical logic, you'll start seeing possibilities everywhere. In floorboards, doors, even furniture. That's the mark of a true survivalist. Someone who learns from the past to defend the present. If you found this breakdown valuable, if you respect the kind of knowledge that once protected families under wartime pressure, make sure to subscribe to Warfield Survival. Share this video with other history and preparedness enthusiasts who believe old knowledge still has modern power. The next time you step on your own floorboards, remember even the smallest creek once held the weight of survival.